doing well. I am better, but <laughs> I'll wait for a little bit more people, then I will tell you guys what happened. Hi, 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 deeply. Hi, Mona. Hi, 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 Carol. I'm preparing uh, some paste at the moment. How is everyone? So I think I have uh, almost everything here. But I guess uh, if I don't have, then we can just uh, grab something and do it. Okay, I think I've got everything. But if not, I just have to get up. Oh my god, I haven't been down here for a while. This kind of swollen glands here and um, sometimes even when I'm ill I don't know I'm ill because uh, my sinuses is all over the place and I always have a running nose whenever it's hot and cold and uh, in and out of a uh, hot and cold room or even a stronger wind to my face I will sneeze non-stop and have running nose straight away. So sometimes if I have a cold or I have a flu, sometimes I don't know. But lucky, I don't have hay fever. Let me turn that. The lighting is a bit weird. Anyway, um, so thank God, week and a half, I'm better now. But <laughs> one after another, because of my glands, my whole of my right side is swollen, kind of swollen. And my gum is swollen as well. I have bad teeth because when I was young, uh, I always eat uh, sore throat, tap, um, sore throat sweets because because of my glands problem. I always have sore throat. So, in other words, is uh, when you're young, and uh, I just eat uh, sore throat sweets all the time. So it kind of have damaged my teeth really badly. Hi Christine, hi Sonja, hi! <laughs> My brother, drink more water. Yes, I will. I'm trying. He's a pharmacist. Hello from Cameron. Yes, yeah, so uh, then now I left with also swollen gum inside my mouth. So next Friday is the earliest I can book for dentist. So next Friday, there will be no live again. I'm so sorry. So that's the only appointment I can get. So next week, no live. And for the uh, uh, YouTube, uh, the, the computer is nearly there. So it's just some apps need to add on it. And then afterward, hopefully I'll get all set up. And then I will have uh, YouTube videos again. Hi Gina, hi Christine, hi 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 hi. So uh, I didn't even have, or I didn't even manage to finish the uh, the the elephant on the boat. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And um, all the other stuff is still on the side, left it on the side, which I have a lot over there. Uh, so when I finish I'll post photo that but just hopefully I'm okay it's just one after and after I just <laughs> lucky I work for myself otherwise it's kind of like you still have to go to work right um, so I am very lucky indeed and uh, it's not really a, a big illness it's just little thing here and there so I guess everyone have that as well Gina, thank you. 
Hi from Greece. Hi Joanne. I'm trying to look after myself, but it just things happen. Okay, today we should move on to the tutorial. Enough of me talking. Um, I have some piping gel with me. Uh, it's uh, I'm making a girl on a bathtub, and I have cut myself a a polystyrene block. You can uh, use just paste, but if you use paste, it's a lot of paste there. So if you don't mind the cost of that. Or you say, if you say, if you say oh, uh, I never really get a good cut from a polystyrene, so get yourself a uh, hot wire tool, and then the hot wire can give you a better cut for the polystyrene. Hi from Peru, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, now I am going to move the camera. The camera stand because I keep on moving it a lot lately. It is a bit loose. Okay, let me see if I can get it straight. Hi Tanya, I think that's straight enough. Okay, um, so we will. Oh, I forgot to warm up the skin color. Never mind. We can do it after. This is the thing. Every time when I do a live, there is a lot of uh, moving about. Hopefully, hi from India. Hi hi. Hopefully next time, uh, when my computer is done, it goes better. How 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 is the view for everyone? Is that okay? Okay, I think. Where is my skin color? Okay, uh, shall we cover the uh, polystyrene first? Quite straightforward. So, same again. I am using Saracino. Hi, Cecilia. Thank you for sharing. And oh, I have microwave some paste. Hi, Australia. Hi from Holland. Today not bad. I can uh, see your message straight away, which is good. I need to try to avoid that line. You know, sometimes you cut the mat so hard, <laughs> the mat just won't take it. And then now I have a big line there. And then, because the polystyrene is not that smooth, so when you cover polystyrene, make sure you have your paste a little bit thicker than normal. Hi from Norfolk. Hello, 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 everyone. Okay. Squish it if you want it lengthwise. I think this is more than enough. More than enough. Okay, now because that is more than enough, more than enough, then I'm going to cut the top now on that. So.
going to leave that there for now. Oh yeah, did you guys see the um, the video of the kick lace that uh, I use? That is the Saracino brand. Very good. And um, right, that's good. And I'm covering the the top of the polystyrene, and. And I am going to demonstrate for um, Saracino next Tuesday evening. Right, just slightly dampen the top. I mean, I am not going to be bothered. Oh, thank you, Debbie. So next week, I'm going to demo uh, a kind of like a dummy. And um, I think I'm going to use my iPad so that it can be landscape. But the setting will be very different. Hi from Switzerland. Hello. So I am covering the uh, dummy here. The edge, just uh, how to say, as long as it's flat to the dummy, is okay. It doesn't have to be super nice cut because uh, we're going to have a, a layer outside okay so that's that put that aside so just want to make sure that it's all the same level And then I want a clean edge. I think this one you can do on the table. I am going to have the seam at the back, I think. So that one is the top. I want it kind of like let me show, oh, want it kind of like a little bit above the line there. I don't know if you can see. Ah. <laughs> so I'm going to cover it like this and have the seam at the back. Okay. Now let me get myself a, a bigger brush. Pause. Take me forever to have the water. Right, okay. So after I measure how how the edge, how tall the edge I want it to be, then I am going to cut this side. So keep this quite straight and then get yourself a let me cut that off. Need that there. Let me put paste over there. Then make sure it's straight always. Kind of put, I mean, it might not be straight, but you try to be as straight as possible. And after you do that, then you kind of put your ruler on this side. And then I think that's okay. If you want to be sure, because I'm not sure, it's six centimeters. Six centimeters about there. Slightly mark it. No. 
up there. Okay, quite happy with that. Then give it another cut. Hi from Canada. And then the other one is Hoi Hoi Hoi. <laughs> Hi. Right, then you want to have a straight edge on that side. So I'm going to cut there. I think that's straight enough. Then I'm going to use a. I mean, how long? Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> And then I will use my spray bottle, spray some water on. Hmm. Don't know how far I need, but that should be long enough. Then, oh, try to have the seam in the middle because that's the back of my thing. And when, because the paste is cut, you don't want to put too much stress on the paste. some more water always have your pace longer than you need then you can pull the end which you can cut off then it can give you a better clean cut right okay so my joint is there. Oh, let's hope it is nice, but sometimes it does not match, but doesn't matter. Right, when you do at home, you can spend more time to to close the gap, but you can use a cake smoother. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but you need to have your seam completely closed because we are going to have piping gel in there. You don't want the piping gel to leak. Okay, I am okay with that. I mean, it looks a little bit wonky, but <laughs> it's okay. And then uh, we are going to... Uh, Just uh, a thin sausage to finish the the edge of the top. So use modeling paste using Saracino. Right, I think that will do. Oh. 
and then get yourself something I think this is more than enough. Okay, let's stick it on. Wow. Didn't realize. <laughs> it's kind of wonky, but it's okay. Uh, then we will cut off the end because we want the, the end at the back again. Then add some water. Is everyone back to work now? I wonder. I mean, I know the kids are back to school. Also, if you um, like making it at home, you can make the top like slanted. But I just kind of like do want to do it straightforward then I do it like this okay then kind of there and then add some water Okay, then we are going to build from it now. Let me move this on the side. Then now we will move on to a little girl. Get ourselves some Skin color paste, Saracino again, skin color. I haven't warmed this up, so it might be very hot. <laughs> Not might be, it's going to be very hot. Right, whenever this happens, I just cut it into a little chunk. Okay, is that enough? Hmm, should be. Although it's hot, when you cut them in little chunk like this, your body warmth on your hand will soften the paste. So I tend to, when I don't want to use the microwave, I will start with little chunk.
Right. I think that's enough because we are only going to do a a little one, I think. I have seen this in a kind of like a Malaysian website or Singapore website. Something similar, but I've changed a little bit of it. So, okay, so now the paste is soft and I will move all the crease into one center point so that when I rolled it, it kind of easier to get rid of the crease. Hi, Han Hannah. Hi, Rosanna, Peru. Okay, we are going to make the head first, I think. And then, right, once you are happy with it, I think all the crease is gone. Okay, I think I'm going to use this side. Right, then get yourself a pouch. I have two. So that when I'm using that one for the head, Right, make a dent like this. And then sit the head there. Right, I want the face kind of quite flat like this. So it's kind of like an egg. Then pressed down kind of like give it a little eye shock socket. Then use a paintbrush or anything wrong. Press down there. Right, the pace is quite dry today. So I want it to have a tiny, tiny, tiny little nose. So you're trying to make a little triangle there. And then slightly rub the middle of the nose so that the reach of the nose is not so obvious. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Then flatten the surrounding area. So on the side is like this. Kind of like a, a really gentle nose. And then we want to have a little flat area there for our mouth there. And then any sharp kind of contour 
you want to get rid of. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that for now. Then you want to use this as a guide. Do that. Then use the Dresden tool and then kind of like a make an open mouth like this. Then you want to press it down because we are going to stick paste in there. I mean, um, I'm just using the first tool as a guide, so you can have her mouth bigger. I shouldn't touch that. Right, okay. Like that. So you want to press the paste inside the mouth so that when you put the paste in it kind of like uh, an indent okay so something like this then grab some pink I have some Saracino pink here So I will use darker pink for the back of the mouth, oops, sorry, and then I'll get some paler pink for the front of the mouth, well, for the tongue, really. So grab a little bit, like that. You want it quite thin. And then you will use this as again because you kind of know how the bottom mouth is. Like that. Is that cut? Sometimes it doesn't cut like that. So get a knife. Cut the surrounding. Okay, then kind of do the same again but smaller, just as a guide. This might not be the same size as the mouth but we can stretch the paste so that I don't need to spend time kind of guessing. Then use some water. Oh yeah, I am using corn flour. This is corn flour. This is not icing sugar, by the way. For the people who just joined me this week. and put it there so it's not that much different that's why I always use this method slightly jet dragged the paste to the corner of the mouth Okay. 
quite happy with that. Okay, now then we will use a smaller pink. I think this might be too pale. Let me add some pink to it. So now we are making a little tongue for it. I think that's okay. So we just want a tiny little little ball like that. Then we put some water there. And then you want to press it. Then do a little line there at the back. And then now we will give it a little kind of teeth. Get some white. I do a little sausage. Okay. Then you want to kind of cut it, cut it like this. Then add some water. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on sorting out that. Okay, so then we put away this. What is this on the table? Uh, then we are going to put the eyes on at the bubble bubble. Some black at the bubble bubble. And then we'll choose to the same size. Yeah, that's better. Right, this side, the eye is bigger because of the, the, the ball ball is bigger than the other side. But, so you just push the pace towards the eye to make the ball ball more smaller. And this side, try to make it bigger. Anyway, so that's that. And then I think we should... 
give this one some ear. So normally our ear is kind of in line about there. So we want to kind of like about there, in line with the eye, about there. Hook, hook a little hole there. And you want, oops, you want two kind of same size. And then you do a little cone. Oh my god. <laughs> right, I can see this one is much much bigger. So I'm going to give it a little cut. Cut there. Anyway, doesn't matter if it is a little bit big. I'm going to let it go. So once you push it in, I'll show you guys on this side. Once you push it in, you squeeze it like this. I think that will do because the hair will hide it. Okay, now we're going to do the hair. Normally I'll do the hair on the neck, but then I think it might sink the body. Right, have some... Brown, Saracino Brown. Let's see. Uh, Ma Magali Peru, another Peru. Wow. Right, and then uh, Rosa, thank you for the heart. Thank you, Polly. Oh, Jessica, thank you. Right, so I am going to um kind of give it a little backing for this. Girl, <laughs> doesn't look like a girl now. There's no eyelashes or anything. So, All right. So roll it out a ball. All right, I think that will do. And then check if it cover the back of the head. I think, think it does. Then I will draw the lines when it is on the body, I think. So that can come forward a little. So I will go longer. Maybe uh, that way a little bit as well. We can do that. We can stretch it. Then maybe I'll do some lines now. Then you want to kind of. So this is the back bottom of the head. And that's the front. Like top, not front, top. So something like this. Yeah. Then we want to add some water. This 
my slide. Ah, okay. Good. I thought I put too much on. Oh, okay. So make sure after you draw the line, make sure your line is like kind of the right way. So what you want to do is the back of your head and then come to the front there. Think. Ah! I think it can go down a little, right there. Right, this is my cheat way to make hair. So if you have... Ooh, So, gather most of the hair to one point, there, kind of, squeeze it, then cut it. Okay. Then the bit you cut off, you can add to the side. I'm going to give it a little hairband in a minute, I think. This way. This one is a bit thick. <laughs> you look like a boy now. Okay. Now, we are going to have Is it better? Yeah, you can see better now, I think. Hello from Maryland, USA. Hello. So, now, right. And then, right there. Oh my god. Oh, lucky. The nose is still okay. Please don't fall off. And then mark where you want to cut it. Ah, this side is okay. Okay, so just that side a little. Cut that. Then what you want to do is, you want to give it a little kind of trim. Then you want to kind of give it some score lines. Okay. Then add some water. Okay. So it's not like that now. Ah, I want the um, the fringe is kind of cover the eyebrows, so push the fringe down a little. Don't worry, we're going to make a hairband to go around there. So, 
Now I want to draw some more line there. Okay. And before I do that, actually, let me do that first. Get some. Get some pink. And then maybe this mix it together. Okay. So want to twist then to twist again <laughs> so I'm kind of doing a random pattern for her that's too much Okay, I think it looks happy. I'm happy with that. Bit thick, hey? Right. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> I'm just testing as I go along because I'm doing it as lot as kind of like first time as well. I think there we're gonna kind of like you want it to finish at the back of the ear. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. And then I'll probably give it a big knot on the top. So it go kind of there. And there. Oh, that's not covered. Stretch. Yay. We don't want any skin showing there. Okay. The only thing you need to be careful is um, because the head is still so soft so be careful when you kind of move about You don't want to squash the ear. Then I think I'm going to keep these two. And then I'm going to cut it like this. That one. Oh no, what happened? One of the light. Sorry, I need to plug this in. One of the light has stopped working. No! Bear with me, please. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Will it work? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make it pointy like this. 
ten kunci at that teh give you a little press oh please stay And then, finally, for her hair, let me put this away. So, something like this now. And then we want a... little bun on the top. So, let me see how big do I want it? <laughs> like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go like this. So kind of quite random. Give it some... Put some water and I want the bun kind of off center there. I might change it, I'm not sure. But so she kind of look like this now. Give some lines to the hair, and you can give lines to there. Some crease line. Okay. I'm quite happy with you, so I am going to leave her over there to kind of dry. Now I am going to, oh no, where is the brand gone? Okay. Right, okay. Now I am going to add her body. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to use the paste. Body is quite straightforward. I am going to use... I like my dolls to have very... Um, Oh no, that's not meant to stick to the face. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I like the body to be quite small. Actually, let me put more on. Miranda, cute. Thank you. So roll our ball. I like to do this kind of uh, figurine because they kind, kind of like it's very straightforward. So do a cone, kind of like this, then slightly flatten it. Okay. Then. You want to get yourself a paintbrush. After after you do that, then you slightly pinch the front and the back. What's I'm going to do? Give her a neck because it's kind of cute. 
But then I'm kind of going, you look weird. Hi, hi. We're going to keep this PG friendly. We're not going to give her any definition of a lady. So, something like this. Okay. Then I don't want it to be above the water that much, so I think I'm going to cut there. Okay. Want the neck a little bit longer, so you kind of press, press there and then elongate. Right. Okay. Not going to spend too much time on that. Then add some water where you want it to be. Check the back. Okay. Like that. Then Think I'm not going to give her any arm because I'm going to put something else on there. Uh, then you want to get yourself a cocktail stick. Mm -hmm. Then, because it's polystyrene, so it's quite hard to push in. Did I get a good one? That's okay. Then you want to go straight down. Twisting motion is the best to go through with paste. Check if you are straight. Okay. So something like this. Then I'm not going to add the head on yet. Let me let's make a little duck to go with her. So I got Saracino yellow and Saracino orange. <coughs> So I think something like this. Hi Milu. Okay, so soften the paste when you get out from the top. Roll out kind of like a Cone like that, then the other one, right. let me put over there. Think that's good.
Right, okay, maybe I will kind of move you guys a little like this. I think that is better. Yeah. Then roll out a ball. Slightly flatten it. And then it's too long anyway, so cut it there. I mean, you know what I'm making anyway, it's a duck, right? So, kind of there. Too much water. <laughs> and then get yourself some extra small bubbles for the eye. Uh, you can add arms to it. What, how is the time? Okay, over an hour already. So. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, the water color come off. Little evil duck. Right, if you have any color come off, this is what I always do. Get a wet brush and then go over the color and then wipe it on the paper. And then you clean you then you clean it up. I mean not <laughs> I drop everything today. Okay. Anyway, so I leave that there. And then uh or or Orella <laughs> from Mexico, hello. Right, roll out a kind of like a Sausage with pointy both end. Then cut in the middle. Round off the edges. Then Uh, you know what? It's so small. I don't know where to touch. Come on, stick it on. Not to my finger. Christine. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Did I? Why are you not sticking? Okay, <sighs> finally, <laughs> then I think I am going to put that there, there, I think, 
Now, I'm going to put this away. And we are going to put the head on. Hopefully the, the head won't sink the neck too much, otherwise it will look quite bad. The head is quite heavy. Oh, thank you. Right, find the middle of the head. So she's like this now. And then we are going to the fun part. I got some piping gel. And then what I want is I want something. I'll just use this. Uh, do I have a container? Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Right, get yourself a container. I mean, if you making a topper, you can put the oh, the person's name on the front, right? So I am going to put some piping gel there. Oh, this thing is messy. Okay, not too bad. Do I need more? Maybe a bit more. That should be enough. Then, uh, hold on, I'll put this aside, close it first. Then you want to get yourself some edible blue color gel. Use a toothpick or you can use other things. <laughs> You just want tiny little because you don't want it dark blue. So start off with little first. Don't know if you can see. So I just want to give it a little color. I think I could do with a little bit more. Right, I don't want to stick this back in, so I'm going to throw this away. You, you already know like this little bit give you this blue color so you want to just add a little bit more again I love piping gel it's fun lately everyone is doing the jelly cake They say it tastes like truffle when it is on a cake, I wonder. Use a lot of gelatin though. Okay, so it turned kind of like a light blue color. I don't want it too dark. Look, it's quite nice, the blue color. Okay, now, oh, I hope I don't mess it up because sometimes it's kind of quite messy. It go everywhere. 
you could do this before you put the hat on. <laughs> I always rush to do things that I shouldn't do. So if you're at home, put this on first before you put the hat on. Wait, if I turn it like this. I love this color. If it is like a swimming pool, then uh, you can... Right, let me move this along. And then drag this piping gel quite happily sit on the paste. So you don't need to worry that uh, if it will melt your paste. So I think I need more, so I'm going to put more on the front and I drag it to the back because the duck is in the way. And if you have anything which uh, you add on to this, right, when you put the piping gel down first, then when you put your items in, then uh, it flow. <laughs> so preferably you stick the stuff you want to put in down first. Ah, not enough. Okay, a bit more. So this is, um, if you make the whole thing out of paste, then of course you can eat it, except you use kind of edible, kind of a structure inside. So you instead of using cocktail stick, you use... Um, kind of like, um, what do you call that, like biscuit or spaghetti, right, come on, stretch, then, um, then the whole thing can be eaten, but I think only kids will like to eat the icing like that, oh no, Right, you can put some water on there, you can put some water on her. Right, so now, we are going to do another fun part, which I love. Right, okay, so make sure it's kind of covered. Okay. You can put some there, like that, there, to make it look like it's coming out. There. Shoulder. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Okay, now I put some on her body already. Then get yourself this. Mm. Then you want to put some on her. bubbles. Okay, to make it more interesting, we want some different sizes one. So 
So this is edible bubbles. <laughs> what are bubbles? <laughs> they are edible bubbles, the smallest uh, one you can get. So randomly put some on. You can put one there. You can put some there. Then off obviously I want some bigger one. To add this on, but <laughs> I love edible bubbles. So. Okay. Now, I think she's okay. Final part is obviously brusher for her. Uh, where's my brush? Oh, oh my god. Let me see if I can move you down. Oh wow, sorry. Keep on bashing it. Right, so I will have tissue there. This way. Then you guys can see. Then I'll use this side. I mean, you can add eyelashes for her. Hmm, I quite like this brush. Got this uh, brush from Primark, it's about a pound. Not bad. Quite pleased with it. Okay. So thank you for watching. That's it for today. Let me see if I can push her up a bit more. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can add kind of like uh taps or shower shower head you can add more to this but today i'm only just going to show this because it's already hour and a half thank you for watching and if you like this video please uh share for me and like this video and next week um i'm going to dentist so no facebook live next week I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.